Hi friends, welcome to my new video. Uh, this video is about the steps in natural language processing. In the last video, we had an introduction to the natural language processing. Okay, in that video, we have seen the components of natural language processing and all that and the applications. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the steps in natural language processing. Okay, so in NLP system, we are just giving a input text right and that text may be some document maybe some a sentence it can be a word it can be a paragraph right so we are giving this text to the nlp system and we are getting an output and that output it may be any text it may be some graph it may be some audio like that so between this input and output what are the various steps that is carried out by this NLP system for processing the text that you need to study and that steps can be categorized into uh, first for that is five steps total five steps first is morphological analysis second is syntactic analysis third is semantic analysis fourth is discourse analysis fifth is pragmatic analysis okay these are the five steps that is carried out by the nlp system for processing the text right so let's discuss uh, one by one right so first is morphological analysis morphological analysis what is morphology actually the morphology it is the study of structure and formation of words that is what morphology actually this morphological analysis it's a word level analysis okay that is structure and formation study of study about the structure and formation of words and the most um, important unit uh, most basic unit uh, we call it as what uh, morpheme sorry we call it as morpheme okay it conveys uh, it describes the minimal unit of meaning for example there is a word unhappy okay oh, oh, unhappy so here two morphemes are the un and happy okay likewise so it is the minimal unit of meaning right and in morphological analysis we have what several steps are the in morphological analysis that is a uh, first step is tokenization 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 okay this is the first step so in tokenization what we do is we are ju we just split the text okay split the text into a collection of tokens okay just we are splitting the text into some words into some uh, word sentences into paragraph and all that okay and we name it as tokens okay so this tokenization the main aim of this tokenization is to integrate integrate the meaning of the sentences okay integrate the meaning of the sentences by analyzing the words that is the main aim of tokenization means morphological analysis it mainly deals with word level analysis so we simply analyze the words yeah, so that we'll get a idea about the uh, mean uh, means we get a meaning we'll get meaning about the sentences right so just we splitting the text into a set of tokens and while splitting um, we may have some uh, uh, while splitting the text we may have some what uh, uh, white, uh, include white spaces uh, uh, then exclamation marks full stops and all that right so this these tokens we name it as uh, that is the tokens that need to be eliminated okay tokens that need to be eliminated as we name it as what delimiters delimiters okay means the uh, tokens that we need to eliminate example full stop uh, then exclamation marks white spaces and all that so uh, the example suppose there is a text uh, sun rises in the east right this is a sentence we have to we are inputting this uh, this we are processing this text sun rises in the text so after tokenization tokenization we'll get first token that is token uh, one uh, sun okay token two rises 
token 3 in token 4 the token 5 east okay so we are just um, splitting the text into a collection of tokens okay so here we have five tokens likewise uh, the tokenization step works we just eliminate the uh, uh, white spaces and all that that we call it as uh, what delimiters right so this is the first step clear next is uh, second step second step is elimination of stop words that is stop word removal okay stop word removal stop word removal okay first step is tokenization second step is stop word removal so how many stop words are there in english okay many uh, stop words are there like uh, in the a r these are all the stop words okay so uh, mainly this step that is stop word removal it's mainly used in text mining and nlp to eliminate the words that are most commonly used okay commonly used and convey very little useful information okay so uh, in the previous example that is our example is what the sun rises in the east right this is the example so after this step that is stop word removal we get uh, we get sun rises what east we just eliminate the stop words in the and all that okay so after this um, step we'll get an idea that is this document is talking about sun okay and we can cluster based on that uh, right so this is the second step stop word removal then third step third step is that's the first step second step okay third step is stemming what is it stemming stemming in stemming we are just what what is stemming it, we are reducing the words that is it is a process of producing the words to its base form that is to its uh, root okay so here uh, for example uh, if there is a word like uh, flying okay there is a word like flying so just remove the suffix from the word and just convert it into its base form here ing is the suffix just uh, we just remove the suffix and convert to its base form that is flying and suppose if there is um, a sequence occurring like this send in a, in a text sending okay send sending so after the after stemming we get it as sent likewise there is a sequence occurring that is send is there and this uh, send sending this these are all the in the paragraphs and we'll get after processing after stemming after this step we'll get it as sent okay likewise so here sun rises east was the example so here just we convert uh, the uh, rises to its uh, base form that is right so sunrise east rest all are same right sun rises sunrise erst likewise okay likewise stemming works then uh, fourth step fourth step is n-gram language model okay n-gram language model n-gram language model n-gram it is a sequence of n words okay it's a sequence of n words and this n-gram can be n-gram can be uh, if uh, unigram okay it can be unigram 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 means uh, means one word okay one word one word and uh, it can be bigram it means two word and trigram it is three word likewise it goes that is sun sun is a unigram sun rises means it is a bigram sun rises in likewise trigram so in n-gram language model we just assign the probabilities we are assigning the probabilities okay so uh, to a sequence of words to a sequence of words in the language okay that is most occurring sequence of words in the language actually this n-gram uh, i'll be i will i will be making a video on n-gram n-gram okay so this that will be more clear to you so just you remember we are assigning some probabilities 
probabilities to each sequence of words based on the occurrence in the language okay that is what engram language model okay these are all the steps that is carried out in morphological analysis and it is a word level analysis and the steps are first is tokenization second is stop word removal third is stemming and fourth is engram construction of engram language model okay clear Next is uh, second step in NLP natural language processing as syntactic analysis. In syntactic analysis, we are just uh, sentence level analysis. Okay, syntactic analysis is sentence level analysis. Here we check each sentence is grammatically correct or not. Okay, it's a correct. It's in correct grammar. This it's grammatically correct. We just analyze sentence level sentence level analysis. Right. So for that, uh, you just uh, need to remember this uh, grammar uh, means structure. That is, uh, a sentence may start with a noun phrase and a verb phrase. Like a valid sentence uh, may start with noun phrase and verb phrase. Likewise, NP it stands for noun phrase. BP stands for verb phrase. Okay, and. Uh, First of all, you may determine it. nominal. Nominal means it's a group of nouns, right? Collection of nouns can be grouped together as a nominal. Uh, likewise, and PP here stands for past participle. Okay, past participle. And rest all preposition and all that. Okay, this this need, you need to remember. Okay, here just we are in syntactic analysis. Here we just uh, we are constructing a past tree. Okay, what is it? Past tree. okay based on the sentence structure okay just we are assigning some uh, pos tags pos tags at sentence level that is pos tags means parts of speech parts of speech okay parts of speech tags that is likewise this tags we are assigning while constructing the past tree for the for the sentences for example uh, for example uh, book the flight book the book the flight book the flight so how we construct a past tree for this sentence book the flight first the sentence can be grouped together into that is uh, book the flight uh, actually uh, book is a verb right the is an determinant flight is a noun right so we should analyze the sentence properly so first is how we can finally generate the sentence s uh, we can use this s stands vp verb phrase and for the verb phrase we can use a, ver a verb is coming and a noun phrase is coming like uh, so we can just use uh, what this vp verb phrase uh, uh, generates verb noun phrase okay verb then what noun phrase okay right so here verb is what book okay noun phrase noun phrase again we have a determinant here we have a noun here nominal okay so what is determinant here noun phrase can be we can use this step right noun phrase determinant then nominal okay what is de uh, what is the determinant here the right so the nominal again represent there is a only one noun is present right flight so nominal noun it is flight so we just the, got the sentence book the flight likewise okay so just you have to remember this grammar rules okay for the step syntactic analysis so we are checking each sentence is grammatically correct or not and we are generating a past tree and that is we are assigning some pos parts of speech tags to it okay so this is the second step sentence level analysis that is what syntactic analysis clear third step is what semantic analysis semantic analysis uh, semantics means what meaning meaning of the sentence so in semantic analysis we check the meaning of the sentence okay so for example the apple ate a banana okay the apple ate a banana uh, 
what does it mean if this sentence is grammatically correct right the apple ate a banana okay but uh, it doesn't make any sense right the meaning of the sentence is wrong okay so uh, likewise we just uh, for in semantic analysis we just group the words into phrases okay so for example red apple red apple means what it 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 conveys the a uh, meaning about a particular object it conveys a um, meaning about a particular object that is apple okay so we'll treat it as which sorry we'll treat it as a single phrase likewise we can group the words into phrases into some uh, phrases and all that okay so that steps in semantic analysis we just group the words into phrases so that it convey meaning a uh, meaning to us okay so that is what in uh, semantic analysis next is what discourse analysis a discourse analysis it deals with the effect of the previous sentence on the sentence in consideration that is it for example jack is a bright student again okay, in the, in, the, in a given text that is jack is a bright student he spends most of his time in library okay so after discourse analysis assigns that he refers to jack okay he refers to jack likewise that is the effect of the previous sentence based on the uh, sentence in consideration right that is what discourse analysis and last step that is pragmatic analysis pragmatic analysis in this step we are finding the hidden information from the given text okay that is we are interpreting the given knowledge using the information from the previous steps okay for example turn off the lights okay it interprets that it is a what order turn off the lights it's an order switch off the lights it is a request okay likewise we are finding the hidden information from the given text okay so these are all the steps that is carried out in by nlp system while processing the text that is morphological analysis syntactic analysis semantic analysis uh, discourse analysis and pragmatic analysis okay hope you are clear so if you have uh, any doubt or uh, you, you need to if you need anything more from this video just put a comment on the comment box so that i will make a video on it okay clear thank you